costume for some earrings. Yeah! Woo! The ending of a long distance relationship. I should have seen this coming when your good night text didn't have that I love you at the end and I brushed it off with a he's probably busy and went to bed missing that warm feeling. Like any withering relationship, our text grew shorter and the time repeat between replies grew longer. I suddenly found myself too busy to text back. I was no busier than I was before, just too busy to talk to you. The sound of my phone ringing at 2.36 a.m. went from charming to just plain annoying. The daily phone calls became every night, became every other night, became once a week, became when was the last time we talked on the phone? The I miss you's and the I really want to see you's that were once all over our conversations became nothing more than a thought we were too lazy to type. I was somehow so surprised that we came to an end, a bit confused as to how it all happened. I saw the disinterest in our conversations. I saw how forced that smile over Skype was. I saw that tweet long after you said you were going to bed. I just didn't see one of us calling it quits. This stunt that you were pulling suddenly became too risky and you used the distance between us as a safety net. You see, breakups in a long distance relationship are different. When it ends, it ends completely. Texting and calling were your medium of communication and when that's cut off, it's as if the other person no longer exists. You don't see them around. They don't go to your school, work where you work, or live in your neighborhood. They're somewhere else, seeing other faces, trying not to associate them with yours until they no longer have to keep trying. Essentially, they become nothing more than a memory, a story in some book, a poem in some journal, a picture in some album, a memory, cloudy and missing details, a memory. Woo!